Hi, my name's Lee. I'm from the Checkers in Bath, and today we're going to be talking about one of our most popular dishes, the ham hock terrine. So the ham hocks have just come in from our local butcher. Uh, the ham hock is the pork knuckle. It's a very tough cut of meat. It's also very gelatinous. It needs a lot of slow, tender cooking so that meat falls off the bone. The butchers brine them for seven days for us. A brine is a salt water solution and it helps to keep the meat nice and pink. Traditionally with pork, when you overcook it, it can be very grey, very white and also quite dry. So the brine helps to keep it nice and succulent and also its natural state. We're now going to uh, wash off the brine in cold water and rinse that for a good 10 minutes to release any of the excess salt which might be still on the ham hocks. So now they're ready to go on, we can get them on a low heat, cook them very slowly for six hours. We've covered them in water, we've added onions, garlic, rosemary thyme, bay leaf star anise. We're going to cook that really slowly until the meat starts to fall off the bone. So whilst they're doing the magic, we're going to crack on with the pickle lily. Alright, whilst our ham hocks are braising, I'm going to take you through the pickles. It's a classic pickle lily, done three ways, we like to call it deconstructed. We've got our carrot pickle, which is in an orange juice and chilli liquor. We've got our neutral cucumber, which is in the white wine vinegar and sugar. And we've got the classic pickle lily, which is onions and cauliflower and a mustard pickle. All these pickles go really well with the ham. The acidity helps cut through the fattiness of the ham. And the nice crunch of each pickle goes well with the softness of the meat. So today I'm going to talk you through the mustard pickle for our onions and cauliflower. So first off, we need to break down the cauliflower into small florets. Do that, put that into one bowl, leave it to one side. Then we need to get our silver skin onions into a bowl, leave it to one side. For the pickle lily liquor, we need white wine vinegar, white wine, sugar, mustard and turmeric. Bring that up to the boil and then we pour that over the vegetables and leave that to cool down. Okay, the liquor's up to the boil now, so we're going to bring that back over to our bench. We're going to add the vegetables to that. You want to do this straight away, keep that heat which is going to slowly cook the vegetables. So in there the turmeric and the mustard help colour the onions and the cauliflower. After two days this is what you have, nice bright yellow cauliflower and onions. With the carrot it's the same principle but we replace the English mustard and the turmeric with orange juice, cloves and red chilies. The chilies help give it a nice warmth and depth of flavour. With the cucumber, we like to keep it quite neutral, so we use just sugar and white wine vinegar. And that's the pickles done, back onto the ham hocks. Right, so our ham hocks are ready. They've had a good six hours braising. We can tell they're ready because the meat starts to fall away from the bone. We also have a litre of stock, which we kept back. This is what we cook the ham hocks in, and this is what you're left with. This is very gelatinous. We've also passed out any excess onions, any excess fat from that. So we've just got a nice clear stock. That's going to help produce the jelly to set the terrine. But firstly, we need to pick down the meat from the bone. And what we do is we pick that into two separate bowls. One bowl for the meat and one bowl for any bones, any excess fat that we need to discard. Once this is done, we're going to move on to making our jelly, which is a parsley jelly made from the natural jellies of the ham hock natural stock and a bunch of parsley. Right, so now we're going to make the jelly to set the terrine. As I explained earlier, we've kept back a litre of the stock. We've got one bunch of parsley. I've picked down the leaf from the stalk already. To one side, keep the stalks. They've got bags of flavour, so keep them, don't throw them out. We put them through our stocks, which help make our Sunday gravy. So now we need to put the liquid onto the boil. The stock's now up to the boil and we're going to cook out our parsley. When I say cook out, I mean we're going to cook this until it's dark green. If you don't cook it till it's dark green, your stock will be grainy. So we add the parsley to the boiling stock. Make sure it's all submerged in the liquid and give that a minute until it goes dark green. As you can see, the parsley's now gone dark green. It's ready to blitz. We're ready to blitz the parsley stock now and we're going to add a setting agent called agar agar. 
Some people would use gelatine, but in a hot kitchen, gelatine tends to melt at room temperature and agar stays set at 70 degrees. So we're going to add that to the blender and then we're going to add our stock and start to blitz. Right, it's now ready to go and we're ready to build the terrine. So we're going to construct the terrine. First off, get some cling film, line your bench, take your terrine mould, place it underneath and then place the cling film inside, pushing down into each corner. We line it so it makes it easier for you to remove the terrine from the mould. Next, we're going to use our parsley stock, which we made earlier from the parsley and the ham hock stock. We add some of the stock to the bottom. And then we start building up with ham hock. Make sure you push down into each corner so there's no gaps. Once that's to the top, fold your cling film over. Place a tray over the top and add some weight to it to press down and leave overnight. The terrine's been pressed overnight and it's ready to come out of its mould. We're going to take a nice generous slice off the terrine. Put it into the centre of the plate and we're going to start dressing the plate. So first off, we've got the piccalilli puree. And then the parsley puree. and then the three different pickles. First off, the carrot pickle, which we formed into a ribbon. Next, the cucumber, which we've also put into a ribbon. You can stand them up or sit them down. And then we go on to the classic piccalilli. We've got a cauliflower, and the onions. We're going to finish that with the parsley cress. And we're going to serve that with a piece of toasted sourdough. And then we have the finished ham hock terrine.